Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This we're going to be looking at Pure Piano by E-Instruments. This is an iPad app. It's, uh, I believe it's pretty good. Let me show you. This is the first setting we have and it's going to be uh, just the default piano. I can't hear what I'm doing, so it's a little So I have some um, latency problems since I'm doing the video and the connection is kind of weird. I'm running a Korg, uh, this giver right here is a Korg um, Micro. Uh, I'm doing it uh, Bluetooth to the iPad. We have here the settings and from left to right we have the what it is then we go down to the this is I guess they call the morph because you can go between presets this is the reverse preset and the reverse preset is but you can put it in between Bring it back to the pure. Um, so let's go through the presets. We already heard the reverse. We already heard the pure. very nice to me listen to how it lingers how the, the samples do resonate see the strings resonating From there, of course, we can go to this one. It's uh, the detuned piano. Now let's check out, this is their mellow piano. I guess somewhere in between. Here we have a pad. Let's go down here to the intimate. Over here we have percussive. Bright. <laughs> I have so much latency. <laughs> Let's 
So anyway, this is a very powerful app. Let me show you over here. If you go down to the effects, the effects are controlled by the, the morph. There is, um, let me go back here and, and show you there's supposed to, oh, there's, there's the one that I, see I have three on top, three on the middle, and three on the bottom. So there's like nine settings, I guess. So this is the cinematic setting. So basically it's a softer piano with it. And you see how when I come down here, I have short reverb. As I go up, the reverb is increasing. So it's kind of a brilliant way to do it. But if you go to the effects, you'll see how all the effects have control by morph pad or not. So now that I don't have this control by morph pad, if you look to your right, we're going to have, uh, this is the EQ, right? So now I can make it brighter. I can come down here and this is my reverb. I can turn it on and off to in the upper left corner or I control by morph pad or I can control it myself if I turn this off. Have my time right here. My decay. Very nice reverb. You can turn it off. Let's go back to to the morph, and then the third one would be the delay. Uh, let me turn this off so I can show you. This is the time, the amount, time, and the feedback. Let's turn that back off. So those are our three presets. And of course, over here we have the piano. If you want to play it from the, from the, uh, even has a sustain button over here. So then when we come down over here, we have the velocity response, which you have your linear, soft, hard fix, or you can program your own. I'm gonna leave it. I, I can't really, I have so much latency on this recording that it's better just to leave it like that. Um, over here, if I move down here, now we have our factory sounds, which would be pure, the cinematic, the detune, bright, percussive, Intimate, mellow, pad. I like that one. And reverse.
Then of course you can have your user ones. I don't have any user ones right now. Uh, let's go back. And you can access all the presets from here. And the, your user ones with the ones you have in between. If you see right here, I have a little bit of the pad, a little bit of the reverse, a little bit of the cinematic. Great samples, great samples. Let's go back to the pure piano and I'm going to try to play something. Um, um, yeah. Switch it to the mellow one. It's too mellow. Intimate. So it's very nice that you can tweak it on the fly if you're playing live. I really like it. So, yeah, that's not much else to tell. We have the settings over here when you can keep your screen awake. Uh, your voice mode, I have it to optimal. You can limit your voices if you want. Uh, Liquid Murph, which is the actual, uh, see, that's the Liquid Murph. So let me turn it back on. Uh, if you have it connected to a interface, you can choose it there. You have your buffer size. You can run your app in the background. And right now I'm having it, you know, I have it Bluetooth through my micro key 61 uh, cord. And I think that's pretty much it. We have over here the help, the help manual your octave switches you can either display the keyboard or not I'm gonna not display it this song right here let me bring it more intimate something from my album in a dream this is something called dancing in the key of K for all 
the violins come in. Whatever. It's a nice piece. You guys, you guys can check it out on my website, eddie-g.com. Uh, actually, my album In the Dream is quite nice. If you guys want to uh, take a look, I'll leave a um, link in the description. Once again, this is... It's a piano app. It's a piano app. That's that's what you need. I really like it. I'm gonna make another video where I compare it to uh, different i uh, pianos from the i for the iPad. So far, I have to say this is pretty much my my favorite, at least for recording. Um, it works as a, a plugin on Cubases if you want or or stand standalone. I'm gonna be comparing it to Ravencroft from VUI and some of the uh, uh, module Korg pianos that are, are nice also. Um, I find that the other ones I have to do a lot of tweaking with it and I wouldn't really trust them. I don't think I have to do too much tweaking to this one. I'm very surprised by it. This is Pure Piano by E Instruments. I hope this helps somebody. I really like this piano. And oh, please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel because I need some uh, of the goofy things that um, there are certain things that YouTube gives you when you have more than 1,000 subscribers, some features. I need those features. So please subscribe if you don't mind to my channel and I'm always doing reviews on iPad apps, Mac apps, soul music apps and video stuff. So my next video will probably be comparing this, the at least three pianos with this one being one of them. So anyway, thanks for watching and peace out.